good morning to one and all. I am sitting in my usual spot, just waiting for the sun to rise above the tree line behind me. <sighs> just experiencing this. <laughs> it's such a great place to meditate in the morning. I have a subject I would like to address. Uh, it's a slightly delicate subject. Uh, the last video I posted was one of my son Esteban uh, running around being entertaining. Um, and I mentioned <clears throat> in the titles of that video that he is a uh, vegan and unvaccinated. Now, I have received many messages over the last 24 hours uh, from <laughs> angry people. <laughs> Hello, doggy. Um, yeah. So I feel like I want to respond to that. Uh, really angry people, you know, accusing me of... Um, can't remember the exact wording, but it's something along the lines of child cruelty. Uh, yeah. Okay, so what I want to say, I'm going to try and keep this short if I can. It's quite a big subject. Um, I've spent many years researching this subject and clearly I would not make the decision to not vaccinate my child if I didn't believe this to be the right decision. I want the best for him, as all parents want for their children. I suppose one of the main differences between me and most other people is that I didn't take it for granted when I was told your child needs to be vaccinated. So I didn't go, okay, cool, let's go. I researched the subject. <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna go into the reasons as to why, but I just felt like I needed to do that. The more I researched, the more I discovered um, that there is a big lie going on behind the idea of vaccinations. Um, there's so much to say on this subject, I really hope I rem remember it all in this moment. Um, okay, so, first thing you have to understand is that this world is driven by profit. Companies want to maximize profit. That is how it works. Um, second thing you have to realize is that whilst driving forward on that move towards maximizing profit, the question of morality gets lost. <laughs> and, you know, it's a tough world out there. It's very competitive. You have to try really hard or cut corners, up to you. Um, or learn to manifest, another subject altogether. Anyway, the point. The point is that there have been many companies um, over the years who we trusted. And yet, they were exposed at some point for unethical practices which basically meant that they were knowingly providing a product um, that was said to be good for you, but was in fact the opposite. Um, <laughs> I, I, I want to say tobacco, but it's not a great example, but just in terms of looking at how a company can for so many years continue to sell its product um, in the knowledge that it's bad for you, uh, whilst the public remain in the dark, as it were, as, as to the, the reality of what smoking tobacco does to you. It took years for the truth to come out. So what makes you think that there's any difference now with the big corporations who are actually much better now than they were then at keeping the lie going for even longer? But eventually the truth will come out and we live in this world now where <laughs> it sort of reminds me of George Orwell's 1984 um, 
or uh, Aldous Huxley's Utopia. Okay, it is compulsory, mandatory to vaccinate your children. You are breaking the law if you do not vaccinate your children. Um, in America, I'm not sure which states, uh, but it uh, in France and Australia, and I'm sure other places too, you cannot send your children to school if they are not vaccinated. So, ultimately it's illegal. Um, now, you know, what kind of a world are we living in where this is being forced on us? We don't have a choice. We don't, we're not given the option anymore. <laughs> yes, think about that for a moment, my friends. They call us free, but are we really free if we are not being given the choice? Almost there. Um, there's more. We have more diseases now on this planet than ever before. And yet, they say medical science is more advanced than ever before. A strange contradiction. I'm actually not debating the effectiveness of a, for example, polio vaccine against polio. What I'm debating is the side effects of having that polio vaccine. Okay? So we may have eradicated through herd immunity or whatever term you want to use certain diseases on this planet but we have also increased the number of diseases on this planet now if you ever want to understand something better follow the money follow the money who stands to gain through this oh yes the pharmaceutical giants they are the ones providing the vaccines. They are the ones providing the pharmaceutical drugs to cure the symptoms of the growing number of diseases available to us on this planet. So they're doing rather well out of this. And they're the only ones who are doing rather well out of this. So. Please, my friends, rather than just following that which has come before without questioning it, at least just question it for a little while, just Google a few things and see where it takes you. I find it slightly frustrating that people get so angry with me uh, because I really have put a lot of time into this one. Here's the sun. So I think I'm gonna call that one over. But um, yeah, just do some research, guys. You know, rather than criticize me, just do some research. And watching the news is not the same as doing research, by the way because the pharmaceutical companies are very, very rich, very, very powerful, and they have a hand in the mainstream media. So the information that you perceive to be accurate news is controlled, okay? So you've got to look at alternative media. Look at the companies who have nothing to gain by giving you certain information. Okay, that's it for now. I am going to look at the sun. <laughs> Namaste, have a wonderful day.